Hey guys, today I'm going to be making another video about a random topic. This week's topic will be about ladder and why I don't think you should be able to play against the same person multiple times in a row, uh, at least in Legend. So the Legend player base is by no means small, but with how the system is set up right now, uh, there doesn't seem to be any countermeasures against lining up uh, versus the same opponent over and over again. Being able to play against the same person multiple times in a row, it incentivizes win trading, uh, stream sniping, and counter queuing advantages, like advantageous decks against your last opponent. Uh, just going to talk about stream sniping first. Very quickly, since I don't want to devote too much time on stream sniping, it's not really relevant to most players, uh, but by allowing people to match up versus the same opponent twice in a row, it becomes much easier to stream snipe people over and over again. Um, also, to, you know, to do annoying stuff, you know, as like rope every turn, things like that. So yeah, that's a small thing. Uh, I'm not going to say it's too big because there's not a lot of streamers overall, but that's you know, a small thing. Anyways, so I'm going to go over win trading next. Win trading is an issue with how important BlizzCon is and how important the integrity of the ladder is to BlizzCon, since ladder is the main way to get into BlizzCon. Uh, people would still be able to win trade, but the new system that doesn't allow win, uh, that doesn't allow you to play against the same person in a row, at least both players that are win trading would have to play, you know, like say one game between between win trading, I guess. So like say you're win trading with your friend, uh, both of you would ha have to at least play versus someone else before you can win trade again. It would help, I'm not saying that would stop win trading, but uh, combined, it would help, especially combined with say some, you know, more manual measures like banning people. Uh, but yeah, I think it, it would certainly help. Another thing, this is probably the biggest thing for me is counter queuing advantages. I don't really think it benefits the Hearthstone community in general uh, because the way to play around counter queuing advantages is basically to wait around and not queue up again right after playing. Uh, it really reminds me of a similar mulligan issue we had in the past where opponents could see how many cards you mulliganed before you know, choosing what they want to mulligan themselves. So it would basically lead to scenarios where both players would rope the mulligan. Um, it's kind of similar because you know a lot of players just choose to rope the queue, you know, like don't queue up right after playing because especially in legend rankings when every loss and win matters a lot, uh, just because they don't want to get counter queued and you don't really want to resort to mind games and do it yourself. I mean, you could, but then, you know, it's just like kind of like a next, like who goes to the right level, you know, like you, you mind game him, but he's already one level ahead of you. It's just, I, I I don't know how relevant any of this is or how much how relevant it is in general, but what I'm saying is I, I do think it's just like a waste of time and effort for the community in general. Uh, I don't really do this during streaming most of the time because I think it wastes too much time, but uh, you know, a lot of times when I play off stream I do similar things where uh, say I play, you know, <laughs> Like a deck that loses to another deck, I probably choose something else or at least wait before playing again. So, um, some of the pros, okay, so some of the pros of being able to play the same person over and over again is shorter queue times and a more realistic sense of community, maybe. Like, you know, you're kind of developing like kind of like a competitive a competition with someone, kind of. Um, so, shorter queue times in Hearthstone, I don't think is that important because the game is popular. It's super popular right now, and it's popular enough that even if you can't play the same person twice in a row, I feel like your queue times would not suffer very much. Like, I think no more than 15 seconds more in Legend. Uh, and, you know, outside of Legend, I think it's close to zero seconds. Playing the same person multiple times, it can lead to some interesting, you know, storylines and competition. But I, I do think that just overall, the frustration of the above points I mentioned it outweighs, you know, how important it is to be able to play the same person and, you know, see whether you can win a best of five against them, for example. I mean, you don't even know you're going to queue up against them again. It's just it's something that might happen. Yeah, I mean, so let me know what you guys think about this because I don't. I guess this isn't an issue that's very popular. It doesn't affect the majority of players too much, but I think it's a small thing that's easy to fix, just like the mulligan issue we had. And uh, it's just you know a little bit. I just feel like it's a little bit uh, annoying in some ways, and the game would benefit from changing changing the ability to be able to play the same person over and over again in a row and ladder. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, 
on an unrelated note, my next deck guide is going to be about Maligos Druid. I've accumulated a lot of experience with this deck over the last weeks. So hopefully, we can get a. Uh, hopefully, I can make a good video about it. Um, kind of the next deck guide after the Control Mage video I made. Uh, and also, hopefully, we'll get some stuff from BlizzCon this week, which is. I don't know when this video is going up, but let's say BlizzCon is in a couple days for me right now, so that'll be cool. Alright, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you think.